The White House is under attack once again, and this time we are going to compare this film along with Olympus Has Fallen from earlier this year. It's my review of Roland Emmerich's White House Down right now on Joakim's Movie of the Week. Hello everyone and welcome to Joakim's Movie of the Week. I'm Joakim Jackson. This week it is Roland Emmerich's White House Down with Channing Tatum and Jamie Foxx. This movie is basically another White House attack. This time around it involves American uh, mercenaries who want to take down the president after he's taking out all the troops from Iran and Iraq. And one person who's actually holding a grudge because his own son was in the war and died. So as part of his vengeance, he wants to take down the president and for everything that has happened with the war. So with the help of Channing Tatum, who is trying to become part of the president's secret service agency, he tries to get the president out as well as trying to save the White House at the same time. Also with the help of the government in the background. So this film I felt like was a better incarnation but the problem was it was too predictable. I mean, and some aspects of the film such as the fact that you got more than one person actually trying to save the president and the entire government at the same time. So that that's a lot better, right? than just one person. But of course, like I said, too predictable, it was too drawn out, and it just killed the entire mood throughout the entire film. So I gotta say this is probably the worst film of the year so far. So it's bound to change, but still, this is the worst film, and I give this movie a one out of five stars and a definite skip it. Well, stay tuned because up next, it's my comparison between Olympus Has Fallen and this week's movie, White House Down. It's my first ever versus coming up. Welcome to our first ever versus. This week, we are actually comparing this, this movie, White House Down, with Olympus Has Fallen from earlier this year. Because both of them are presidential movies, and they both have an infiltration of the White House. So let's compare them by these categories. Let's start with point number one, the president. Now, in Olympus Has Fallen, the president is being played by Aaron Heckhart. In White House Down, the president is being played by Jamie Foxx. Who does a better job in this In this category? Well, we really don't see much being played by Aaron Eckhart as the president. If you look at it closely, he really does almost next to nothing except for fighting for his life. And probably just kicking somebody's chin at in the same time. However, for White House Down, in Jamie, Fo uh, Jamie Foxx's portrayal as the president, he uses... Okay, let's... Let's count this down. He's used a, what is it, a rifle. He's also used a bunch of grenades. He even used a rocket launcher. Yes, a rocket launcher. So winner for that category, Jamie Foxx. Let's go to aspect number two, which this time we talk about the enemy. Now, in Olympus Has Fallen, the enemy is North Korea, the country, yes. Now, the way that this was portrayed in this film was that a group of South Korean uh, members were trying to meet with the president to discuss terms about what was going on with the North Koreans. But, however, the they were disguised as uh, South Koreans. Pretty sneaky. Now, with White House Down, the enemy is a group of mercenaries from the United States as well as other countries who are trying to take down the president. So let's break this down. Now, the fact that the North Koreans were hiding out as members of the South, that was a pretty bold move. But yet, 
trying to conceal it for a long period of time, way to get your cover blown. Now, with White House Down, however, this was a group of mercenaries that were working with members of the government currently just so they can infiltrate the White House. Now, that was a pretty smooth move. However, I am going to go with uh, the enemy of Olympus's Fallen just because they made a pretty bold move just to get their point across. Now let's go to aspect number three, the hero. Now, in Olympus Has Fallen, you got Gerard Butler playing Mike Banning. He is the hero in this one. In White House Down, however, you have multiple heroes. You got Channing Tatum, who plays the who plays Kale. You got his daughter, uh, played by Joey uh, King, playing Emily. Now... If I didn't know better, I think the fact that of the matter is that you have n the more help that you get, the more your story actually works out because at this point it doesn't look like it's about to work out. So with that, I give the heroes of White House Down a better run because you can't just depend on one man to actually save the president's life. It's kind of far-fetched. Think about it. Our fourth and final category between the comparisons of these films is the government's response. Now, in Olympus Has Fallen, you got Morgan Freeman, who played the Speaker of the House, and he was the acting president in the time that the president, played by Aaron Eckhart, was captured. So, he takes over, he tries to make sure that every rule in the book has been taken care of. I applaud you for that. Thank you very much. Now, in White House Down, you got the entire government with members including Lance Reddick, who you might remember from Fringe. You also have the vice president who's on Air Force One and kind of acts like a total baby about everything and takes over and just screws it up. And then you have the Speaker of the House who basically just is scared, literally. I think this is a no-brainer. This one's going to Olympus Has Fallen. So in consensus of the fact that you got both of these movies that portrayed almost the same sort of situation, the White House is being attacked, you got a bunch of terrorist groups that are trying to take it down, who actually wins? And the fact that they both had a low percentage rating and the fact that it was less favored by me? Well, the winner with the best storyline and the best amount of characters is going to be White House Down. Congrats. Although, I didn't really favor your movie that much. Sorry. Well, it's all the time we have for this episode. This Thursday, you don't want to miss my review of The Lone Ranger starring Army Hammer and Johnny Depp. That's this Thursday, part of the 4th of July celebration. And with that, I am Joakim Jackson. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the movies.